Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Fizz. I'm Tatiana and today we're going to talk about third party inspection. Now, a third party inspection is basically once you've placed your order with your manufacturer, your products are ready to be shipped to Amazon, before you ship them, you want to make sure to inspect the products and make sure that the products reflect the samples that you receive. Make sure that they're good condition, that they're high quality. And it's really important because if they arrive at the Amazon warehouse and they are poor quality, Amazon can suspend your listing. So if you have a number of people who are complaining about the products they've received, Amazon can suspend your listing, they can ask you to remove the inventory, and even if you ask Amazon to remove the inventory, there's a fee for that. So it can cost you a lot of money in the long run. And unfortunately, when you have a new supplier and you haven't already established a relationship with them, you don't have a bond with them, you have no prior history with them, it's just really important to do this. This is called doing your due diligence and it's protecting yourself and protecting your company. There's two different ways you can go about it. You can hire a company to do this inspection for you or you can personally inspect the products. So if you're ordering a small quantity, you could have the product shipped to your house in the US and you could personally open every single box, check all the products, make sure they're all good, and if they're good, you can send them to Amazon. But the other option is to hire a company in the country of where your products are being manufactured, which for most people is in China. Hire a company there, it's called a third party inspection service, pay them around 20 cents a unit and they will take care of it for you. And I highly recommend going that route. Now, if this is your first shipment, if it's only like 100 units, 200 units, then you can ship them to your place if you live in the US. But if you don't live in the US, you definitely need to hire a third party inspection service because it would be too costly to ship them to your house and then from your house to the US, uh, that's really gonna dig into your profit margin. So for example, I live in Canada, so for me to have my products shipped from China to my house in Canada and then from my house in Canada to the Amazon warehouse in the States would cost me quite a bit of money and that would really eat into my profit margins. But if you live in the States, you can just have them shipped there and once you've inspected the products, you can actually create a shipping label on your Amazon Seller Central account and you can use Amazon's discounted shipping rates with UPS. So they get really good deals with UPS and it'll cost you very cheap to ship from your house to a fulfillment center of Amazon's choice. So that's a good option for you, but honestly, save your time and save your hassle. It's worth getting an inspection company. So the inspection companies are basically companies that you hire in China or wherever it is that you're sourcing your products. And you find them just by going on Google and you just type in inspection company and enter the province of where your manufacturer is. So you find out where your manufacturer is and just find an inspection company that's local. You want one locally because if they're coming from far away, they're gonna charge you for the transportation cost and time. So find somebody local and then what happens is they go and they inspect either partially or a full inspection. So you can do partial inspection or full inspection. I 100% recommend doing the full inspection. If you do a partial inspection, they might inspect 10% of your units. So if you have only 100 units, which is unlikely, but they would inspect 10 of your units. But if they find that two out of the 10 units are bad and it fails the inspection test, you're gonna have to pay for a full inspection anyways. So it's definitely worth just going the full nine yards and getting the full inspection. It's not expensive guys, it's worth the money. It's really just gonna help you so much. And it's good to know this because this is the problem. When you source overseas, oftentimes, it's sad to say, but manufacturers can jip you off. And so they might send you samples and the samples you receive are just amazing quality. They might be handmade, just really, really nice. But to them, when they place the order for you, you can now have really poor quality products. And you won't know this unless you hire an inspection company or you wait for all the negative reviews to come in from Amazon. So another issue is that oftentimes when you place orders on Alibaba, there's a difference between a manufacturer and a trading company. And oftentimes people don't know this and they don't know the difference. The difference is a manufacturer, they own their own facility. They have all of the devices, they have the equipment for manufacturing, and they produce all their own goods. The trading company is kind of like the middleman. <laughs> so this person, this company is now, they're selling to you on Alibaba, but they're buying their products from other manufacturers in China at a cheaper price. 
So they're making a small profit or a big profit by selling to you. But what happens is they might find out which companies in China have the best quality products of the product that you're sourcing and which ones have the poorest quality products. They know which ones are the most expensive and which ones are the least expensive. So once you place your sample order, they might get the best quality products, send those to you for samples, and you're like, wow, this is amazing, I love this. And then when you place your order, they now go to the cheapest products and they send those for your order. And you won't be able to know this unless you hire an inspection company. So really important and just a tip for you guys, how do you know if it's a trading company? Well, if you're sourcing on Alibaba.com, you'll see it'll actually say like a uh, business type and it'll say manufacturer or trading company. Sometimes it says both, which means that they manufacture some of their own goods, but they also are a trading company. So. Sometimes if you see uh, manufacturers that have like a bunch of different products, like super random, like hair straighteners and then like tissue boxes and uh, cameras and then jump bounce board, I don't know, whatever, like random products, then you'll kind of get a hint that it's a trading company because they're sourcing from all these different companies. So just be aware of that. I would advise going against trading companies. Just go directly to the source, which is the manufacturer. What happens after that is you now pay this third inspection company to inspect your products. They do a full inspection, so it takes them about one day. You pay them per hour or per unit. So oftentimes it's around 20 cents a unit. It might cost you 300 bucks to have them do it. And then the next day they give you a full report. So they send you images, they send you texts, and they basically stamp whether it's failed or whether it's passed. If your manufacturer fails, the inspection process, what you can now do is you can go to the manufacturer and say, hey, look, this is how many units have failed the inspection. Please replace them for me or omit them from my order and I'm not paying for them. So this is important to note that when you're paying for your order, you never want to pay 100% of the cost of the order downright. Your down payment should be around 30%. And you don't pay the remaining payment until after you get the inspection company to come in. So you'll pay 70% after the inspection company approves the products. And you want to do this because if they fail and you know 70% of the units are damaged, well at least you didn't pay for the entire order and you have some leeway, you can do something about it. But if you've paid for the entire order and the products suck and you want a refund, there's not really much you can do at that point. So definitely get the inspection company, it's worth your money. Now, people always ask me, okay, well do you have any inspection companies that you can recommend? You guys, it's just so easy, it's just like people ask me, where's your fulfillment center? Do you have a fulfillment center? Google, Google, Google is so amazing. All you have to do is go on Google and you just type it in. There's like a thousand different results that come up. You call a few of them, you contact a few of them, decide on one that you like or that suits you best or one that has a great website, whatever it is, they're pretty much all good. So just find one within the area of your manufacturer. Just one final thing that I wanna comment on is one last reason that your products may not reflect the quality of the samples you received is sometimes, now if you've been with a manufacturer for a long period of time, you'll know that there are times when your manufacturer is just extremely busy and so they hire temporary workers. So this might be during the Christmas season, especially if you have like a toy company that you're sourcing from, they're gonna get so busy so they're gonna hire temporary workers and these workers are not trained as well as their regular workers and they also don't care as much. So oftentimes during those seasons, the quality of the products, the integrity of the products will not be super high. So, you know, even if you've been with your supplier for a number of years, it could be good to be aware that during certain seasons, it is common for them to hire these temp workers and it could be good to just hire an inspection company during that time. But also know that it is a busy time, so it might take a long time for the inspection to be done, for them to reproduce the products. So just always do these things in advance because there are seasons that are just really busy and out of your control. Chinese New Year, where they take time off, Christmas time, where they're just full of orders. Um, so keep all this in mind. 
So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. I highly recommend doing the inspection company. And if you have any questions about that, please feel free to comment down below. As always, I have down below, if you click on the link, a free guide on how I find products using Alibaba.com, which I find is kind of the best way to source products from China. And let's be honest, most people do source from China for Amazon. So yeah, if you guys wanna do that, check out my free training videos, 30 minutes long, it's a screen share. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.